Edgar Berlanga is no stranger to pressure, but with his fight against the legendary Canelo Alvarez just hours away, a viral video of Canelo's intense neck training regimen seems to have made him uneasy. Berlanga knows he comes into the ring with power, and it seems Canelo is training to cope with that. And if he is preparing a guard for Berlanga's main weapon, it's no surprise Berlanga feels a little intimidated. Canelo, already a giant in the sport, has never been knocked down in his whole career. With 61 wins, 2 losses, and 2 draws in his 65 fight career, the Mexican legend has built his success on a combination of iron will, extraordinary skill, and a detailed training regimen. The video that has left a massive reaction across social media showcases Canelo performing a grueling neck exercise on a BOSU ball. An act that may look simple at first glance, but carries immense difficulty and even a degree of risk. The footage sees Canelo rolling his neck, which reminds us of the famous movie often used by boxing legend Mike Tyson in his prime. But Canelo ups the ante by performing the stretch on an unstable BOSU ball adding an element of difficulty that pushes the boundaries of what's physically possible. This exercise, which strengthens the neck muscles, is believed to be one of the reasons Canelo has never been dropped in the ring, a show of his defensive resilience and ability to take punishing shots without flinching. It's a visual reminder of why Canelo is considered one of the pound-for-pound -pound best, and it's clear this video is weighing heavily on Berlanga's mind as the fight approaches. If Canelo is training on this much tougher than before, it means he knows he is up against someone who brings so much power in the ring, but he is creating a guard against it. Sources close to Edgar Berlanga's camp have reported an atmosphere of unease since the video went viral. While Berlanga has never lacked confidence in his power and skill, the sight of Canelo performing such a physically taxing and potentially dangerous exercise has allegedly sent shockwaves through his team. Berlanga knows he's up against a guy who's not just skilled, but practically unbreakable. You don't get a chin like that by accident. Berlanga has built his career on his knockout power, but going up against Canelo, a fighter with a proven track record of absorbing punches from the likes of Gennady Golovkin and Dmitry Bivol, has led to growing concerns within Berlanga's camp. For the first time in his career, Berlanga may be facing a fighter who simply can't be broken, either physically or mentally. Why are you different from Mungia, from Caleb, from Golovkin, all these other opponents he's faced? One thing for sure is that I'm a puncher. One thing for sure, I have no respect for him, you know, in that ring. Number three, I'm not scared of him. Number four, I could box, bro, and people have... The key to Canelo's ability to stay upright through 65 fights lies in his dedication to strengthening his neck muscles, a crucial yet often overlooked aspect of boxing training. By developing a neck that can absorb the shock of a punch, Canelo has turned what many consider to be a physical vulnerability into one of his greatest assets. The neck training video has not only reignited discussions about Canelo's extraordinary durability, but has also drawn the attention of medical professionals. Brian Sutterer, a well-known sports doctor, weighed in on the viral video, warning of the potential risks of such exercises. Don't do this, Sutterer tweeted. The cervical spine is not built to tolerate high and dangerous compressive loads like this. If you want to strengthen your neck, do it without putting a load through the top of your head. Even Harvard Medical School chimed in, issuing a cautionary note that the exercise could cause serious harm to anyone with a weakened neck or spine. But for Canelo, these warnings seem to be mere background noise as he continues to push his body to its limits in pursuit of victory. Ready? 
This particular exercise might seem extreme, but for Canelo, it's just another day in the gym. The Mexican star has long maintained that his neck training is crucial to his ability to take a punch. And with 65 fights under his belt, it's hard to argue with the results. Canelo's resilience has been tested against some of the hardest hitters in the sport, and he's never once been dropped, a remarkable feat for a fighter who has been competing at the highest level for over 18 years. Berlanga, known for his explosive punching power and undefeated record, has always walked into fights with an aura of invincibility, but facing Canelo has clearly put him in uncharted waters. While he's spoken confidently in the lead-up to the fight, claiming that he's ready to dethrone the Mexican champion, the sudden shift in tone following the release of Canelo's training footage suggests a more complex reality. One of the most telling signs of Berlanga's unease came in a reaction to Canelo's neck training video. I'm not worried about that, Berlanga said. I've trained hard too. I'm ready for whatever he brings. But those close to the fighter paint a different picture. The question hanging over Berlanga's head is whether he can deliver the kind of knockout power needed to stop Canelo, a fighter whose neck alone seems to be made of steel. The panic is evident here, and with each passing hour it becomes clearer that Berlanga's team is scrambling to find a solution to the Canelo puzzle. In a sport where confidence is everything, the psychological battle is already well underway, and it's unclear if Berlanga can regain his footing before fight night. For Canelo, the upcoming fight is just another day at the office. Despite Berlanga's power and undefeated record, Canelo remains unfazed, showing the calm confidence of a fighter who has seen it all. In a recent interview, Canelo shrugged off the idea that Berlanga could pose a serious threat. I like them like that. I like when they're confident, when they do a lot of talking, Canelo said with a smirk. I like breaking their faces when they play like that. Canelo's words were not just a prediction, they were a warning. The Mexican superstar thrives on challenges, and the more confident his opponents are, the more satisfaction he seems to take in dismantling them. It'll be the beatdown of his life, Canelo added, making it clear that he's not just looking to win, he's looking to dominate. While Berlanga may have knockout power, Canelo's experience, intelligence, and sheer willpower make him a terrifying opponent. The experience I have, the intelligence, my boxing ability, I've already won, Canelo declared. And in many ways, he may be right. The mental games, the physical preparation, the psychological warfare, all of it points to a fighter who is more than ready for whatever Berlanga throws his way. But this is not the only training video that has surfaced recently. In another released clip, Canelo was seen working the heavy bag, this time not working on the neck, but focusing on power punches that signal his readiness for a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle with Berlanga. Fans and critics dissected the footage, with some voicing disappointment at the lack of visible power, expecting the heavy bag to be rocked by Canelo's punches. However, this is part of Canelo's nuanced preparation, as he has opted to fine-tune his speed rather than unleash full power this early in his camp. At 34 years old, Canelo understands that pacing himself while sharpening his technique is critical, especially against a dangerous puncher like Berlanga. By reserving his power and focusing on building speed and accuracy, Canelo is setting the stage for a performance where precision could overcome brute force. This measured approach is part of Canelo's evolved strategy after years of experience and success in the ring, showing that his preparation isn't about theatrics, but effectiveness. Although Canelo is coming into this fight as a three-belt champion, he no longer carries the IBF title, having been stripped for not facing his mandatory challenger, William Skull. Despite this, Canelo's stature in the sport transcends titles and his focus remains on the quality of opponents rather than belt collection. For Berlanga, this fight is a monumental leap in his career, as he will be fighting arguably one of the greatest boxers of his generation. However, the fact remains that Berlanga's record has been built against second-tier opposition, 
leading to skepticism about his ability to compete at this level. Berlanga has yet to face a truly elite opponent, and his most notable victories against Padraig McCrory and Jason Quigley haven't done much to elevate his reputation. These opponents, despite their top 15 rankings, are generally viewed as stepping stones rather than top-tier talents. Berlanga's promoter, Eddie Hearn, has been criticized for guiding him through a path of least resistance, securing victories against fighters that aren't dangerous but are ranked just high enough to give Berlanga the appearance of legitimacy. Hearn, who has built a reputation for strategically matching his fighters against winnable opponents, ensured that Berlanga remained undefeated by avoiding riskier fights. This method has worked up until now, but against Canelo, Berlanga is finally stepping into the deep end. The question now becomes whether Berlanga's power can carry him to victory or whether his lack of high-level experience will be exposed. Fans on social media have been vocal about Canelo's choice of Berlanga as his opponent, with some arguing that a fighter like David Benavidez or David Morrell would have provided a sterner test. Pauli Malignaghi, a boxing expert, expanded these perspectives, suggesting that while Berlanga is a winnable fight for Canelo, it isn't the kind of challenge that would push him to his limits. Malignaghi went as far as to say that fighting Berlanga was preferable to risking a loss to Benavidez or Morrell on such short notice. Malignaghi's comments align with the general mood of fans who feel that while Berlanga is a hard hitter, he lacks the technical skill and ring IQ to truly test Canelo. Nonetheless, with Canelo already deep into training, his focus remains on refining his power punches and preparing for the task at hand. One of the most compelling aspects of this matchup is Berlanga's physical size, and Berlanga knows it too. Standing tall and naturally carrying more weight than Canelo, Berlanga has a clear advantage in terms of sheer mass, his ability to drain down to 168 pounds. For the super middleweight division while carrying the size of a light heavyweight makes him a formidable presence in the ring. This physical advantage could give Berlanga an edge if he uses his size to pressure Canelo early in the fight. However, size alone doesn't win fights. Berlanga will need to deliver more than just power shots if he hopes to pull off an upset. His aggression in previous fights, particularly against McCrory earlier this year, shows that he can come out of the gate quickly, but his tendency to rely solely on power has left him vulnerable to more technical opponents. Canelo, who has made a career out of neutralizing larger opponents, will likely look to exploit these weaknesses by outmaneuvering Berlanga and landing precise, well-timed shots. For Berlanga, this fight represents a make-or-break moment in his career. Despite his unbeaten record, the quality of his opponents leaves much to be desired. Facing Canelo, a battle-hardened veteran, presents a challenge unlike anything Berlanga has encountered before. It's a high-risk, high-reward situation where a victory could propel him into stardom, but a loss could expose the limitations in his game and potentially derail his career. Eddie Hearn, who has carefully maneuvered Berlanga's career thus far, knows that a win against Canelo would be career-defining but he also understands the risks. Berlanga is chasing the bag, as he stated, and the financial incentives for taking a fight of this magnitude are undeniable, but for Hearn, the long-term viability of Berlanga as a top-tier fighter is at stake, and a poor showing against Canelo could diminish his marketability. Canelo's power is one of his most underrated aspects, his ability to break down opponents methodically and finish fights with devastating combinations has been the cornerstone of his success. Despite some fans expecting a more dramatic display of power during his training sessions, Canelo's past performances have shown that he reserves his best for the ring. His knockout power, coupled with his technical acumen, makes him a dangerous opponent for anyone in the 168 LB division. When Canelo lands his shots cleanly, they often have a cumulative effect, wearing down opponents and forcing them into mistakes. Berlanga, for all his size and power, has shown vulnerabilities in his defense, and Canelo will undoubtedly look to exploit those openings. However, even with all that Canelo is putting in for this fight, let's not forget that Berlanga has been working out himself too. 
Berlanga's training camp is laser focused on preparing him for the most significant test of his career against the seasoned Canelo Alvarez. From working on his distance control with the jab to enhancing his conditioning, the goal is clear to give himself the best chance of defeating one of the sport's living legends. One of the key aspects emphasized in Berlanga's training is Berlanga's jab, a weapon that could prove critical against Alvarez. Berlanga knows that to even stand a chance against a fighter as experienced and skilled as Canelo, his jab needs to be sharp and persistent. His head trainer, Mark Ferrate, points this out during the episode. His weight looks good, his conditioning looks amazing, and today we're going to do a lot of quick twitch muscles in regards to a lot of catch and shoots, working his distance, keeping his leverage, staying out of traps, making sure he gets over after he throws a combination. Ferrate's plan is to keep Berlanga in the best position to avoid the traps that Canelo is known for setting up. Alvarez, a highly intelligent fighter, excels at drawing opponents into his range before unleashing punishing counterattacks. Keeping Alvarez at bay with the jab and avoiding these traps is going to be central to Berlanga's strategy. As Ferret added, make sure that lead hand is always out, keeping Canelo as much at bay as possible. Berlanga himself echoed these sentiments fully understanding the importance of his jab against a fighter like Canelo. Everybody that beat him convincingly, beat him with a jab, Berlanga said during the video, and distance. This insight from Berlanga highlights how crucial it will be for him to establish and maintain his range. Both of Canelo's losses against Floyd Mayweather Jr. in 2013 and Dimitri Bivol in 2022 came at the hands of fighters who were able to control distance effectively with the jab. In fact, the jab was also a significant factor in the highly contested trilogy between Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin. GGG's powerful jab gave Canelo problems, especially in their first fight, which was ruled a controversial draw. Many believed Golovkin had done enough to win that bout, and a large part of that success came from his ability to utilize his jab. For Berlanga, this historical context offers a potential blueprint for victory. His goal is to frustrate Canelo by keeping him at range with the jab, just as Bivol, Mayweather, and Golovkin did. However, while understanding the strategy is one thing, executing it against a master of in-ring adjustments like Canelo is another challenge entirely. The training videos from Berlanga's camp also showcases Berlanga working on his conditioning with an oxygen mask reinforcing the need for him to be fully prepared for the grueling nature of this bout. Berlanga's trainer, Ferrate, reminds him that mental focus between rounds will be just as important as physical endurance. You should have no problem going back out there every round. The only problem you're going to have is if you don't lock in and understand when you come into that round what happened in the three minutes before you gotta forget that, Ferrate instructed. You gotta say, let me just go recover in 30 seconds, 40 seconds, so I could get ready to go back out there. This piece of advice emphasizes the importance of mental resilience. In a fight of this magnitude, especially against a fighter as experienced as Alvarez, there will be moments when things don't go Berlanga's way. Staying mentally composed and resetting between rounds will be key to maintaining focus and following the game plan. As the fight between Berlanga and Canelo approaches, the odds still favor Canelo due to his vast experience and well-rounded skill set. Canelo's training, with a focus on power and precision, will likely be effective in breaking down Berlanga's defenses, especially given his ability to adapt in the ring. However, Berlanga's youth, power, and the emphasis on his jab in training cannot be dismissed. If Berlanga can consistently keep Canelo at bay with his jab and avoid getting trapped, he could make this fight more competitive than expected. His power is a wild card. If he lands clean, it could trouble Canelo. 
but ultimately, Canelo's superior ring IQ and experience will likely allow him to adjust to Berlanga's strategy, giving him the edge. Berlanga's jab may create moments of success, but Canelo's relentless pressure and tactical acumen may prove too much in the later rounds. Well, what do you think? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates. See you in the next one.